If you are planning to make a German tank, in this video I will explain you how to make a nice camouflage just using the eyebrows and three acrylic colors. The German subjects are one of the most popular and interesting for the modeling because they have a huge variety of camouflage and also about colors. For example, the green, the gray, the brown, the yellow, uh, and many others, even the winter was. So, I will use a, the new Tiger, uh, Tiger one from Das Bear brand to make my, my video today. This is an excellent kit, even with the Simmerit, which is very cool for the people who don't want to to spend time making the Simmerit or, or like me, that I don't know how to do it properly. But anyway, thank you to, to the people from Das Bear and Model Balconing from Germany, Thomas, uh, Christian, Harald and many others who made that kit for me because I will use this example for a weathering paint demonstration during the incoming weeks in Germany. Uh, I was using the, uh, new solitium, so the new solitium box about uh, middle, um, uh, middle or late uh, German tanks, colors and weathering products. So I will use that for the demo in Germany, but today only the three colors. And of course, what we need is the, uh, the primer. Uh, this is the, the red primer from Titans. I will use for primering my model. So this is the, the beginning and the most important. And for the colors, I will use the Olive Groom, the Choco Brown, and the uh, Dunkel Gel for, or Dark Yellow, the typical Dark Yellow, to paint the base color. So, let's go! I am Mi Jimenez, and welcome to this new video. Well, my model is ready because uh, to paint with a spray is really fast and it saved me a lot of a lot of time. So this is why also I recommend you. And as you can see, the color is, is really nice for a, for a red primer German tank. Uh, now, um, to mix with my colors, I will need a satin varnish that also is included in the, in the solution box. So I recommend you to mix maybe a 20% of the satin varnish with the uh, first color that in that case will be the olive green. I will start applying this color. Uh, this is not normal. I always start uh, applying the uh, lighter color. So it will be the, the Dunkel Gel for the dark yellow. But in that case, I will try to save time applying only the, um, the areas with the, with the green color uh, and trying to avoid the other areas uh, painted in another different colors. So, Let's go with it. I will use my Air Cobra, which is uh, uh, the best option if you want to start applying a, a, a camouflage, but also you can use the, the, the Viper one. So, first we need the, the satin varnish, the color, and we will need also the thinner, this one. Of course, I recommend you to make the mixture outside of the eyebrows, not directly on it. But I want to go fast just to show you how to paint. We can, uh, we can mix around 20% uh, of varnish, another 20% of uh, acrylic thinner, and the rest of paint. Okay, a bit more of this. And now let's go to mix with a brush. I always recommend you to, to have in your hands a piece of paper like this one uh, because before we start painting, it's important to uh, test the eyebrows over a piece of paper like this one. So as you can see here, I am painting. I see that the color is uh, very fluid, it's nice. So we can start painting the camouflage on our model. I recommend you uh, to avoid to cover the surface at once in only one coat. Uh, it's better to apply um, uh, by using um, different coats, very soft, let dry, apply the next one, and don't try to cover like when you are using lacquer paints, which are totally different than acrylic. So that is uh, something very important to keep in mind.
some aspects to keep in mind are, for example, um, that I am not making a very accurate camouflage uh, in this stage. I am, uh, I am doing uh, big areas of camouflage with not too much control. Uh, as you can see, um, the, the areas that I painted are very blur, uh, are not too uh, sharp. No? Because we will do in the last step of the camouflage, uh, when I will use the, the Dunkelgeld, the, the dark yellow. So now I just trying to cover most of the parts. Now uh, next I will use the choco brown to make the, the second color of the camouflage and finally the Dunkel Gelf. So my model is uh, more or less ready. And the color is very smooth, very flat. A bit satin because the, of course the satin which uh, will help us to make the um, the the washes and other weathering process process so the satin varnish is very very important also to give contrast between the dust and the metal parts of the tank the washes and the filters will uh, works very well over that surface okay more or less done and now let's go for the uh, next color the choco brown okay uh, for change the color I only need a cleaner, uh, put, uh, put a little inside the, um, the eyebrows cap and clean with your eyebrows and this will be more than enough uh, to change the color. Immediately uh, we will repeat the process again, uh, satin varnish, the thinner, a clinic thinner and finally the, uh, the choco brown. But remember to shake it very well because uh, acrylics need to be shaken a lot. Only when you finish and you end to, to use your eyebrows, you need to make a very deep cleaning to protect your eyebrows. But just for change the colors, it's not necessary to be very precise. Okay, we have the brown, let's go to paint. The like extra information, I will tell you that you must keep a distance of around 10 centimeters, more or less, from your model, uh, 45 degrees of inclination with the eyebrows, and a pressure of 1.5 kilograms of pressure in your compressor. One more time, don't try to cover all surface with a color. Don't overflow the surface. Anyway, because this choco brown is very similar to the red primer, it will cover really, really, really fast. And look that, I am not uh, trying to touch with the brown to the green. Eh? So leave a space between both that will be filled by the dark yellow. Like I told you before, I recommend you to have uh, next to you a paper so in case that this is not flowing the color uh, very smooth, you always can paint in the paper and fix the situation very fast. I know that many modelers, um, what they do is just to cover the whole tank with the same color. For example, they start using the dark yellow and they paint the model completely in dark yellow and then uh, they apply the first camouflage color over the dark yellow. Well, uh, this is a different method. Uh, it's more like the Germans painting the tanks because you know that the Germans are very efficient and they don't, they don't waste uh, material, they don't waste paint in the factory. So what they made is to paint just the areas uh, that must be in green color, in green color, and the areas in, in choco brown or in dark yellow in the other color. Of course, in the, um, during the, from 1942 to 1943, most of the vehicles uh, were painted in dark yellow from the base, uh, from the factory. So uh, the whole vehicle was painted in that color and what made the, the, um, the tankers 
uh, was to to paint the tank uh, with uh, other colors like green or brown using a, a air spray uh, or a kind of airbrush over the dark yellow. But in the end of the war, when when the resources was very uh, uh, really few. Uh, they they use they only painted the um, the colors over the area that must be painted in that color. It saved you time also in the modeling. Okay, more or less, I have the camouflage in brown, and now it's time to go for the dark yellow. Well. Um, I am uh, now using the air beeper because it's a bit more accurate for the fine lines. So, uh, like we made before, we can start painting outside, trying and testing. And now we can enter in our model, painting fine lines between the two areas. Um, for to end this uh, camouflage process, I will explain you a little tip in case that you commit a mistake when you are painting the camouflage uh, with sun lines. Sometimes can happen something wrong. So I will explain you how to fix it. For example, imagine that you are painting here your camouflage. Okay. Everything is going nice. But, for example, something like this happened. Well, my first recommendation is to use a clean brush and very quick try to remove the excess of paint, even dry with a piece of paper, and try to concentrate in the middle of your camouflage, something like that. Eh? The, the most important is to remove those uh, lines that appear from that spider of color. Now dry with the air, only using air. And finally, redo the lines that you was painting. Sometimes it's difficult to control the lines, the pressure and everything. And this is more common than you are thinking. So this can be a way to fix the problem if something wrong happened to you while you are painting the camouflage. Okay, this is one of my secret or tips when I am painting. Uh, but also if something happened, something ugly happened like this, that is not too nice, uh, just let dry with the eye from the eyebrows and try to paint the lines trying to make bigger in a way to cover the mistake. Hmm? This can be another option when you are painting the lines. Huh? And problem fix it. Eh? This uh, can be another option. Uh, I usually use both in case that, for example, the lines are uh, very small and I made the mistake in, in the very fine lines. 
I use this method, but if uh, something terrible like this happens with a lot of lines and legs, uh, then you need to use the brush, clean it, and start the game. Anyway, guys, uh, my model is more or less finished, uh, ready for the weathering. Uh, the satin surface will help me with the, um, with the weathering effects. And, uh, of course, the next step is uh, to, to apply the decals, the numbers, or any other thing. Okay, here is my model with the camouflage. A German camouflage you can do uh, with uh, many other kind of vehicles, especially from the um, 1944 to 1945. Uh, those colors are very nice for that uh, time of the war. Uh, but also you can use the red primer like another color. Even, for example, after apply the red primer with the spray, remember, you can apply uh, the scratches effects or the chipping fluid and then apply your camouflage with this method, with this method, and you can scratch uh, so many chips will appear in the surface. That is uh, another, another way of weathering. Uh, that's all my friends. I hope um, you, you like it. Uh, it's something very basic and simple, uh, how to paint the lines and the base color. If you want to know how to, um, uh, how to apply the base color in a good way, I recommend you my other video in my Mi Jimenez channel. Uh, where you can, uh, it's in Spanish, but I think that you can understand very well even if it is in Spanish. Just, just to understand how to apply the, the soft la uh, layers, how to dilute and even how to clean the eyebrows. That's all my friend, thank you very much and I will continue painting this uh, beauty in uh, Model Balconin in Germany in uh, July. So thank you and bye bye. Discover many more videos on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate notifications. Thank you for watching.